Welcome to Let's Talk Etiquette right here on Can TV 21. What a wonderful organization this this particular organization is right here at Can TV. Well, we have a very special subject for you to, for you today and I'm hoping that you would take notes on it because it's a very very important subject. But first before we tell you what the subject is, I would like to introduce my very very special co-host today, Madam Georgia Selman, etiquette maven extraordinary. Welcome, Georgia. Thank you. Yes, it's yes. such a privilege and an honor to be here on Let's Talk Etiquette again. Yes, yes. How I'm, nice. I'm excited. Yes, so yes. am I. It's been a moment that uh, we have uh, not did a show together, but today was the day we decided to do one. Yes. This is a subject that's really paramount for all of our parents uh, to really pay attention to and those who are not parents you should pay attention to it because it may be a benefit to someone you know so without any further ado we're going to get to the subject because we only have 28 minutes so we got a lot to cover yes so put it up on the overhead and you're going to do the honors absolutely okay the subject for today home schooling a need to return the first and most important education back to the home. Mm -hmm. One hour a day, homeschooling will reinforce the cultural and philosophical values of siblings back to the predominant influence of their parents. Yes, yes. And this is such, such an important subject. Because we once did this, this homeschooling was nothing unusual 50, 75, even 100 years ago. The school only came into the picture in the turn of the 19th into the 20th century. But all the other years and times, most parents educated their own children. Yes. And so now we're using public schools to do it or private schools to do it. But this is such a critical subject simply because... One of the most important things about who your child ultimately, ultimately become is going to be based on those moral and cultural and social values. And so tell me, what do you think is the most important thing for a parent or parents to teach their children at home? Well, Mr. Wright, you and I, we go back some years and we've had this conversation many times. Yes. And I'm just going to tell you my feelings again. Please, please share. Home st school starts in the home. Yes, it does. The very first teacher that our children hear, see, and mm -hmm. interact with mm -hmm. are the parents. Are uh, the parents, yes. How we teach our kids at home will determine how they react and act in school. Yes. So I am a, I mean, a, a strong advocate for homeschooling. Yes. Because it starts at home. Education yes. starts at home. Yes. With the parents. Yes. Yes, absolutely. You're absolutely correct about that. And the reason we are such advocates for it is because each and every day your child leaves home going to a school. You need to educate your child on what the do's and don'ts are for that day in that institution. Absolutely. And you want to make sure your child hears that from you daily. Yes. Because that child goes to school. Your child goes to school and hears the lessons that the teacher gives them. And they're also in a social environment with other students. And so that's another part of their education, how they interact with other people on a social level. And so you, the parent, has that obligation to make sure your child understands what their behavior should be. Yes. And so give us some other examples of what a parent should be teaching their child each and every day. Okay, well, your, your, your outlook here says one hour a day yes. homeschooling will reinforce the cultural and philosophical values of siblings back to the prominent, yes, influence, yes, predominant influence of their parents. Yes. So how would we teach our children? That says to me, what we teach our children culturally, mm -hmm. socially, mm -hmm. is very, very important. It's 
extremely important. What we teach them culturally, what we teach them philosophically, what our values are, will determine how they learn to appreciate what's going to happen in the traditional school environment and setting. Yes. But it starts at home. It starts at home. They need those lessons before they walk out the door. Absolutely. Or the night before, okay? But a reminder before they walk out the door. So those lessons will be instilled in their value system. And no matter what they hear from some other child or some other person, will not influence them to a level that they may change their values from being the values that are not, no longer your values. So you, the parent, they are your values that you want to impart to your child. Yes. And the only way you're going to be able to do that successfully is to do it every day. That's right. Every day of that child's life when they're in your custody. And so this is why we feel that it's so, so critical that this kind of daily education continues throughout your child's formative years and while they're in your care. One hour. One hour. Yes. One hour a day can make all the difference in the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you're fortunate because here at the Etiquette Foundation of Illinois, we have a curriculum for you. Yes. The only thing you have to do is contact us for that curriculum. And I'm just going to mention some of the basics for you uh, so you get a sense of what should be covered in that hour. The first thing, you know, you want to talk to your child about what are their responsibilities uh, the moment they leave your home, you need to have your child repeat to you, what are those responsibilities? I am to do this, 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 and this. No, you're not to do that, but you're to do this. Those responsibilities should be reminded to your child each and every day. Give me some insight on what do you think those responsibilities should entail. I think it is clearly listen. Yes. You are to listen to your teacher. Yes. You are to be respectful to your teacher and your peers, Yes. your classmates. You are to have the manners that, that's taught at home carried over in your school setting. Yes. You are to behave. Listen, behave, be respectful, yes. be pleasant, yes. be nice. Yes. These are simple values that, is, right? that should start at home Yes. that's carried into or into the schools. Yes, yes. I mean, just the simple courtesies of being respectful. Yes. Respect your teacher. Yes. Respect your classmates. Yes. Listen to your teacher. Yes. <laughs> ask questions. Yes. It's okay to ask questions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Treat your peers, treat your classmate with mm -hmm. love and kindness. Mm -hmm. the, there's the simple things. The academic things will come and they will fall so easily mm -hmm. into place, into yes. the minds of these young people. Yes. If the basic, yes. the basic yes. <laughs> reinforcement of culture yes. is instilled Starting at home. Starting at home. And the key to our curriculum is that you simply ask your child to repeat what you just said. Now tell me, what did I just say to you? Well, mom or dad, you said that I'm to respect my teacher. Yes. Correct. That's correct. Uh, mom or dad, I'm to follow the instructions that's a, that are given to me. Okay, so these little four, five, six little reminders, you want your child to speak them back to you so that you know your child understood the directions and instruction of this curriculum before they walk out the door. And once they repeat these things to you, then you simply say, well, I'm anticipating that you're going to follow all of those instructions and lessons and that I won't have to be concerned about the teacher or someone else calling me, telling me that you're doing something that's inappropriate. Will I? And the child would say, no, mother, no, dad, you will not. And see, that repetitiveness does play a huge part in their thinking throughout that day because they are reminding themselves what they must not do and how to do it. Give us another example that you may think of. Well, that's what homeschooling is. Yes. That's homeschooling. Yes. 
And when we can teach those very basic principles at home, then we will have a successful student in school. Right. Because they will know uh, what's appropriate, what's inappropriate, what to say, what not to say. Yes. How to conduct themselves, you know, in a, a, a mannerable way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's in, in education, the, the academics will come very easily when they know to raise their hand, not blurt out. Yes. They teach their fellow classmate with respect, mm-hmm. with honor, with courtesy, yes. and to teach their, their, treat their teacher with the same respect that their parents yes. expect at home. Expect at home. So, so true. Yes. So true. And these are just basic. Do not try to create some contemporary values to go along with today's thinking. Rely on those basic traditional moral and philosophical values that you know are grounded in civilized behavior. Yes. That's the key to it. Civilization has a set of values. And you want your child to understand those values, not based on what someone down the way is doing or down the street is doing, but based on these historical values that is the foundation of civilization, you see? And etiquette plays a big part. So the curriculum that we will offer you, if you like to have a copy of it, it goes through about 10 different steps and stages that you will see the benefit and you will see it in your child's behavior. Now, there is a part about the curriculum, but it's not about teaching your child math or science. It's about your child understanding the value of math and the value of science and the value of reading. Why is it so important, son, for you to read at grade level or above? Tell me why. What benefit will it have for you to be able to read well? Okay, to do math well. And you explain to your child the benefits of that. And see, that child would then internalize that and understand when they're looking at their math that this is relating to me being able to be something special or have some skills that normally I may not have because I don't have an interest in math. So many young people say, well, I don't like math, you know, I don't like English. And those are the kind of things that really limits them from being able to do great things with their lives. So you, do you have a couple other examples you'd like yes, to mention? Yes, you know, it's, um, there are subject matters that, um, that I didn't like when I was in school. It, that, that's just, you know, that's part of the course. Right. You know, you're not going to like every subject matter that, uh, that's required. Mm-hmm. But it's about respecting the subject matter. Yes. Respecting the information. Yes. Learn what you can from it. Yes. I loved the arts yes. when I was in school, and I right. did quite well with literature and arts. I mean, my worst subject was science. <laughs> <laughs> but I would pass the, the subjects that I didn't like because I had some basic instructions on being respectful mm-hmm. to whatever. Yes. The subject that I didn't like or a teacher that I didn't like, I had to respect that person. I had to respect that information. Mm -hmm. So I did well enough Mm -hmm. to pass those subjects that I didn't care for. Yes. That's that's the key. I I respected the information well enough Mm -hmm. to pass. And that's not just a subject matter, but a teacher that I didn't care for. Right. Yes. I had to respect that teacher enough to pass that teacher's class. Yes, <laughs> you did that. <laughs> and we teach these right. uh, lessons early. Yes. I have a, a niece that uh, started kindergarten okay. this year, but she was just a, uh, just a, a, a bright, smart little girl. Mm-hmm. But she came, she, we entered the school system with some very, very profound um, uh, manners and morals. Oh. She knew how to say thank you. Yes. Every time she receives something, out. she'll say thank you, Auntie. 
Right. You know, yes. thank you. Yes. Or uh, may I or can I yes. <laughs> use this or have that? Right. Those are important parts of our curriculum, the may I's. Saying those, saying it in that form, you know, as opposed to maybe can I? Yes. And that makes a whole difference to the, how the teacher receives that information or that request, and they're more apt to to grant it based on how you ask for it. Okay, yes. so that's really, this that's etiquette too. You know, yes. It's part etiquette. It's part of some other basic disciplines. But go ahead. Is it? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yes. just the, the, with the a smile. Simple, with a smile. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank it, you, Miss Selman. Right. Yes. And may I use your can, may I use your whiteout or your eraser? Yes. And the teacher is delighted to accommodate that student that comes to school with those simple cultural manners. Yes. Yes. And that's so important because the yeah, the success of your child in school has a lot to do with their personality. And so we have a few points in our curriculum, you know, highlighting personality and the kinds of things that is important for your child to be well received. Yes. Making eye contact, having a smile on your face, knowing how if you have to shake someone's hand, how to do it. And always how to end the conversation with a thank you. And so that you're departed from this person, but you're showing your gratitude. Exactly. That you that you you had done something that was well received. Yes. And even with those subjects that the, your child is having problems with, if it's math, then you have to give them lessons continually, explaining to them what the benefits are for having good grades in math or superior grades in math. Math is such a fundamental in no matter what direction you go in in life. But if you are suscept if you're exceptional in math and your child may have uh, an attitude about I don't like math, but once they receive it knowing its benefits and knowing the possibilities of mastering this particular discipline, they will try harder. Yes. And if they try harder, they may very well get the, the essence of it and then go on to be, you know, some engineer at some point, making two hundred thousand or whatever a year. So those are the kinds of things you do every day. This is a daily yes, lesson it is. in your child's education, homeschooling. Yes, it is. yes. <laughs> it yes. may sound a little odd or something like in the past when they did have, they were promoting a lot of homeschooling uh, for parents that have a choice whether they want to put their child in public school or or put their child educate their child at home. But this is a little different kind of homeschool. These are your values. Yes. And they're important for your child to incorporate those values into their humanity. And, and the could, academics. And, and the, the academics. And the academic side yes. as well. So those those are very, very important, you know, attributes for your child to have. Can you think of a few more from that curriculum that uh, that kind of got you excited? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it, it, there are just so many, uh, so many valuable uh, lessons from homeschooling, and and so many um, things that we can do as parents to reinforce uh, those values that we uh, teach and instill in our children, so that the um, when they enter uh, the traditional school setting, they will come with. A certain amount, uh, or they'll come with a behavior mm -hmm. where uh, the uh, learning process is very, you know, very positive. Yes. They'll come with a certain attitude, a certain mindset, mm -hmm. and a certain uh, belief system mm -hmm. that will help them accomplish and acquire the traditional uh, academics of school. Yes, yes, so. yes, absolutely. And we do uh, have a few uh, lessons on that curriculum involving etiquette. Yes. You know, basic manners, basic courtesies. And then you have to role play with your child. It's, it's about role playing so that the child will understand, you know, how to shake someone's hand, how to maybe make a little bow. How are you, Mr. Johnson? How are you today? Yeah, you know, those are simple signals that says your child has been raised to be a very polite, courteous person. 
And it's not that the teacher is going to think like that in their head. That, oh, this is a very nice girl. They just say, this is a nice child. I like this child's exactly. behavior. And that's why, that's why it's so important for your child to have that relationship with the teacher. Because they are there to work together. The teacher is teaching your child is the student. The, the, the student has to learn or try to learn or to understand what the lesson the teacher is teaching. Yes. You know, and there's nothing wrong with raising your hands and I have a question. You know, so that's the kinds of things that need to happen every day of your child's 18 years or 20 years. And, and also, both parents. Speak, yes. speak on about the, how important it is for both of the parents to be involved in this lesson. You know, it, that's, it, <laughs> that's a tough one. Yes. Because often one parent is absent. And but that's not to say that the one parent that is present cannot instill those values and morals. Mm -hmm. Because I came predominantly from a single family home. Right. And yes. my mom was very, very I mean, she was gun ho about our behavior. Yes. About her children's behavior. Yes. And instilled in us it's, it's to successful with it. carry out what was taught at home. Yes. Yes. Carry out politeness at mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. Respect. She was big on respect. Mm. She would yes. say, respect yourself. And other people will respect you. Yes. Respect other people because you want to be respected. Yes. Great values. Yes. Great values. And, and respect is just being, having common courtesy. Yes. Yes. And this is what we do. This is why it's important to teach your child, to educate your child, to have those values, to have a sense of the purpose of having those values. And you, you, you adopted them, and you, most of your family adopted them Absolutely. quite readily. And, Absolutely. And put them into action in the school or in the public uh, sphere. Yes. So that uh, you saw what your mom taught you was effective. Yes. Was beneficial. And this is the reason this lesson, this homeschooling is so important. Your child would attest to, to you that this was some beneficial lesson that I learned from my parents. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's effective. Yes. It does exactly what you hope that it will do. Mm -hmm. And, and I, 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 uh, sub, uh, I did substitute teaching for like about five or six years. Mm -hmm. And I saw some really, really amazing kindergartners, first graders, second graders, third graders. They came into the school with good manners. Mm -hmm. And you know where they got them from? Home. Home. Yeah. Not but it doesn't it, it doesn't start at five when they enter when they're entering kindergarten. Yeah. It starts early on. Three, four, five. Earlier and than they start that. To communicate. Earlier than that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. When they come out of the womb, when they're just infants. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're learning at in at infancy stage. Yes, they are. You know? Mm -hmm. Uh they they're they're Happy, they're mm. they're just just bubbly. Yes, you know they mm. let you know what they want, yes. and you let them know when they can have it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's discipline. Exactly, yes. exactly. Yes. That is, I mean, the very formative stage of a, a lot of life, mm -hmm. and that 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 teaching that uh, starts early on. It starts early on. You're absolutely right. You know. And we're encouraging the parents to see it that way, to understand it like that. Yeah. Because it's not just some kind of just live day, but day to day, and that's all is required of you to do the minimum as a parent. Because a lot of parents think they would, they need to do just the minimum. No, you need to make a serious commit, commitment Absolutely. to homeschooling your child for at least one hour. And I say hopefully the two of you should do that, the male and the female of the family. And the reason that's beneficial, if you can make that happen, is that it's good for the child to also hear the father's point of view. Absolutely. Okay, as well as the mother. Once they see that you two are united and connected on this particular value system, 
then they have higher respect for the two of you because they're learning it from both of you. It's not just learning it from the father. Uh, my dad, he just thought, you know, my, you know, mom hardly says anything, but my dad, he's only. But if it's both of you, then the child would incorporate that notion and the idea that it's my parents. Yes. This is my parents' value system. They are teaching me these values. And etiquette is a critical, very important piece because they go together. Yes. How your child behaves and how your child conducts themselves and what comes out of their mouth is all part of one package. And you can take pride and credit for your child's behavior. And that's something very gratifying as a parent. Yes. I know your, 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 your mom really got a lot of accolades from the teachers and from the community about her children. You know, I don't know, but it was expected. Right. You know, it, and, and yes, I'm sure there were some teachers that would say, oh, you have a, you have a very, very sweet daughter. Right, right. You have a very, very polite daughter. Right. <laughs> and all of that comes from what's taught at home, homeschooling. Yes. How we teach our kids to be polite. How we teach our kids to say thank you, thank you, Miss Jones, yes. or thank you, Mr. Jones. Yes. May I use your May I use that uh, that whiteout, yes. Mr. Yes. Jones or yes. Miss whoever? Yes. May I? Yes. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes. You know, just the simple courtesies of life yes. really is the foundation yes. of how our kids are going to proceed in the higher grades of education in the upper grades of education. They don't forget. They don't forget. They do not forget. They Those forget. values, If when they're taught early on, now that some students, some kids may kind of deviate from them, but they know what's in their, within in their, their heart hearts. and their, yes, and what and their they soul, what they are supposed <laughs> to, to do. do. Right, right, and they won't violate And they that. will come back. To that. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. So now you can imagine uh, one of the children that's now 15 or 16 or 17 who is killing other children, same age in most cases. You know, if that person that you hear on, see on TV that they're arrested for murder, you know, if that person had received a homeschooling like what we offer, do you believe that child would have had a gun in his hand? I don't know. I do, do not. Do you believe he would have been taking another person's life? I yeah. doubt it. If I you're know. asking me, no, I don't believe it. No. I believe that somewhere along the lines, mm -hmm. that child was not taught love, respect, right. honor, compassion. No. No. I, don't I just it. don't believe it. No. I, doubt it. I, I don't believe it. It's impossible. I would go as far as to say it's impossible because when a child, when you teach your child values like empathy and compassion, if you have, if that's part of your character and your, your way of seeing the world, you can't do certain things. It's like you can't do it. You sitting out there watching the show, you can't pick up a gun and kill somebody just because you got a gun. It's just not in you to do something like that. It won't even come in your head to think to do something like that because it's in opposition to those values that you were raised by and you honor. You honor your parents for that one great thing they gave you, and that's homeschooling. So they covered all of those bases that the math teacher couldn't cover. Yes. They covered the bases that the English teachers couldn't cover. So this is why what we're talking about is critical. So. Get in touch with us. Give us a call. Go to our, our webpage. That's www.efoi.org. Or you can t contact me directly, Nathan at efoi.org. So contact us, and I'll send you a copy of that curriculum out ASAP. <laughs> with that said, thank you again, Madam Selman, for joining me today. It was a great subject, great topic. And I think we did a, a good, good job at presenting it to our listeners and viewers. Thank that you said, for inviting me. Yes, yes, yes. With that said, continue to have a great evening, and we'll see you on next Wednesday.